everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm back with another haul to share with you guys today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a bunch of vintage and antique books that we hauled over the week while I was in Maine and um, there's a ton of great stuff so I wanted to share it with you guys and um, a lot of it's from rummage sales yard sales and flea markets so in case you're wondering I'll try to say the prices if I can remember as I go along but there's a lot as you can see so let me move this to the side and get started so this first one I know for sure I got from a rummage sale for a dollar and I got it because it's about roses and there's roses on the cover I thought it was really cute and let's see if I could find a year for it 1940 and I didn't really flip through it to be honest I just saw the roses and was like a dollar I'll pick it up <laughs> so looks like there's some pictures and stuff there are roses in Alaska oh apparently so ooh, what's this oh there's like a vintage um, calling card and someone just crossed out their name <laughs> I guess they were using that as the bookmark. But that's cool, and it's in great condition for the dollar that I paid. Um, this one is called Goodnight Sweet Prince, and I'm pretty sure I got this at the rummage sale as well for a dollar, because all the hardcovers were a dollar. This one's a little more beat up, but I know that I liked the inside cover. Usually if the inside cover is really nice and has a, some sort of design, I fall for it, so... <laughs> Let's see if I could find a year on this. It was first published in 1944, but it looks like the copyright is 1943-1944, so I'm not entirely sure. But it looks like there are a bunch of... It's a story. So, I don't know, I'll probably just use the pages and the book cover if anything. This next book I can't entirely remember. I think this is from the flea market and I think it was like a dollar. And it looks like someone, a nun, gave this as a gift in 1929. So it's just a prayer book. And it's from 1928. I just thought it was cool to have. And I could use the pages and whatnot for some junk journal. So this next one I know I got at the flea market from this little lady that I got most of these books from actually and um this was 50% off but I don't remember oh yeah she just gave it for a dollar because we couldn't find the price and this is from 1897 and as you can see it's kind of falling apart but it's not bad condition the font is really really tiny and I, you know what I really fell in love with is because of the gold around and the spine. It was just really, really pretty and I really liked how it looked. And it's full of poems, so I have yet to read any of them. This next set of books I got from this guy at the flea market who I ended up buying three, let me see, let me find it these three books from and I wanted to buy this one but he was gonna give all four for 25 and I was like "Ugh, that's expensive and originally he was gonna give these three for I think like 20 bucks or something like that his books were kind of expensive let's just say that and um, I was like no way I'm gonna pay five bucks for this book but then he ended up throwing it in as a gift so I was really happy about that, but this is the book that me and Scott were super excited about. It's called First Steps in Scientific Knowledge, and it is really, really beat up, but it is really gorgeous. It's from 1887, and as you can see, yeah, it's really beat up, but it's like a science textbook, basically, and it has some great graphics. This is a page it was open to because it was on, like, a stand. But I can't wait to read through this. There's some stuff about physics. Like, it is awesome. It's literally a textbook. But, um, I probably won't cut this up. I'll probably just keep this because it's amazing. Then we picked up these two because they were really cute. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. They're just volume two and three of this set. Um, someone must have taken volume one and I'm kind of upset about that. But, uh, let's see if I can find a year. 
1906. So I'm assuming both of them are from that. And the cover was just calling me. And then this is the one that I got for free. And it is about how to overcome your timidness. And I just thought it was funny. I haven't really read through it. It's from 1915. I haven't read through it, and I think it'll be interesting to read. So, yeah. Next thing I picked up was a dictionary from um, this little guy from the um, flea market. And I bought a bunch of maps, and I paid $5 for everything, so it was a good deal. And it looks like they were giving out this dictionary from this store in Bath, Maine, which is... We went there, actually, for a yard sale. So, um, this is the 1927 edition, it looks like. And I just thought it was really cool. I could cut it up, probably, because it's falling apart. But, yeah, remember the store where you got it from? <laughs> I liked how it looked. These next two I got from the same lady, where I got most of these books. And, um, these were the kind of the more expensive books. And after paying everything was like a dollar before, this one kind of hurt my soul. But I think I did two for ten or something because they were expensive. Like this one alone was six bucks. And ouch, that hurts my soul just thinking about paying six bucks for a tiny little book. But it was really gorgeous and I couldn't let it go. So let's see. It says copyright 1899, I guess. So this is called the Tanglewood Tales. And it looks like there's like pictures randomly in here. well then <laughs> but the cover like called me I don't know why and ugh, it's just so pretty I probably won't cut that up because it's too pretty this one was also really gorgeous and I don't know I just picked it up so let's see oh this is from Harriet Beecher Stowe interesting uh no year on it I can't find a year, but I probably could find it on Google really quick. But yeah, so this is from Harriet Beecher Stowe. Interesting. I didn't even see that she was the author. I just really liked the cover and how it looked. <laughs> this next book was 50% off from that same lady. And it is in a different language. I think it was only 150 not entirely sure what language it is. It looks French, maybe? Um, it's from 1911. I don't know. It looks... Okay, here it's English. Maybe it's going to tell us what language it's in. It's It's got to be French because they're talking about King Louis. So, yeah. I just thought it was really pretty. Like how the French looks and... I don't know. Oh, someone did some math on here. <laughs> but yeah, it was only 150, so I picked it up. Ugh. My problem now is I have no clue where I'm going to store all of these dang books. So this next one was gorgeous. This was 50% off as well. So it was 250 and I thought it was well worth it. Just look at that spine. Obviously it was stored somewhere like this for a long time. Because the front cover and back cover are still that gorgeous blue. But I don't mind. It looks beautiful. And I love the gold foiling. Let's see. A year. I'm pretty sure that's a year. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, 1933. And... It's not too old looking. It looks like it was stored well for the most part. But I just really liked the book cover. I thought I could gut it and use it for a junk journal, of course. This next one was a dollar. And I just liked the title and stuff. It's really beat up. It is from 1939. And it's just like, it looks like a textbook kind of thing instrument of reason it's a little gross but not bad condition this next set of books i was really really excited about it was only a dollar each i'll probably just throw out this um book case thing because it's so ripped and beat up but the first book in here is this jane Eyre, and look at it 
It's gorgeous. They look like little Wednesday Adams, like marching. So awesome. It's from 1943. And I just liked how it looks. I'm probably honestly not going to gut this because it's too pretty. It's so pretty. I'm probably just going to keep them to collect them as is. And then this other one is called Withering, Wuthering? Wuthering Heights? What? I'm going to wait. He looks like a werewolf, for real. But let's see. Wuthering, yeah, Wuthering. Is that a word? What does that mean? So this is from 1943 as well. And once again, it's in pretty good condition because they're both stored in that little book cover slip thing. So for the most part, these books I'm going to gut and use them as junk journals and use the papers and stuff in paper bundles and whatnot, but I don't know. I think I'm going to keep a lot of them because they're all so unique and amazing. I love old books. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. I mean, you probably do because why would you click on this video otherwise, but I'm... I love yard sale season, flea market season, because this is the best time you can get all of these things for cheap. So keep your eyes out, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe to see more videos. Bye!